What's up developers? This is the intro to my full stack course where I'll be teaching you how to make a production grade waitlist hosted live on the internet with Cloudflare. The tech stack I'll be using in this course will include Cloudflare Workers, the Cloudflare D1 database, Hono, Astro, React, Tailwind CSS, Daisy UI, Zod, Drizzle ORM, Bun, and several others. In addition to teaching you about all these technologies, I'm going to focus on teaching you industry standards, such as local first development, automated testing, CI CD, logging, monitoring, and setting up separate staging and production environments. So why are we building a waitlist? Well, many of you watching probably want to build your own products and hopefully monetize them. And a waitlist is a great way to measure the interest um, in your product before actually building it. So if you can collect a bunch of email addresses, that means people are probably interested in your product. But if you can't, then that product probably isn't worth your time to build. So by the end of this course, you'll have everything you need to start building your own full stack applications on Cloudflare. And you'll have a wait list that you can tweak and use to test out your own product ideas. This course is designed for someone who has a basic understanding of JavaScript and web development. If you're completely new to programming, this course is probably not for you. But you don't need any prior Cloudflare or Hono experience because I will be setting up everything from scratch. If you would like to code alongside me, you should have Bun installed here on their website, bun.sh. You can find installation instructions right here at the top. I'm planning to release this course chapter by chapter as I record the videos, and hopefully I can get out one video per week, but I can't guarantee anything because I have a family and a full-time job, so life is busy. Um, so with that, if you find the content helpful, please subscribe to support the channel, and in chapter one, we're going to talk about system design.